Hi everyone! So in this video, I will be reviewing what punctal plugs are and how they can be used to treat dry eye disease. And make sure you stay tuned right until the end of the video where I will show you a demonstration of how the plugs are inserted into your eyes. Dry eye disease is a disease that occurs on the ocular surface or the front of the eye. There are many causes of dry eye disease, including increasing age, changes in hormones, a history of surgery in the eyes, a history of contact lens wear, certain systemic diseases, and certain systemic medications. Symptoms of dry eye disease include itching, burning, redness, irritation on the surface of the eye, and sometimes even blurry vision. Punctal plugs are small medical devices that essentially function to block the drainage of the tears on the front of the eye and therefore help alleviate the dry eye symptoms. A punctal plug is typically the size of a grain of rice. It is inserted into the tear duct by your eye doctor under the slit lamp, which is a microscope, that allows a magnified view of your very small tear duct. Punctal plugs are available in different sizes, different replacement modalities, and even different materials. Some plugs are temporary collagen plugs, which will last for about two weeks or three months in the tear duct, and then they will dissolve spontaneously. The more permanent punctal plugs are made of silicone, and these details will be determined by your eye doctor. Adverse events or allergic reactions to punctal plugs are very rare. And in the case that you do have symptoms where the punctal plug feels uncomfortable or the eye starts to become red, then you must contact your eye doctor right away. Now, I would like to demonstrate some of the instruments that I will use in my office when I'm treating patients with punctal plugs for dry eye disease. Forceps, such as these shown here, would be used to insert the punctal plugs into your tear ducts. These instruments are typically autoclaved and sanitized by your eye doctor's office. Sometimes the tear duct will need to be dilated to fit the plug, and for that, your eye doctor would use this lacrimal dilator. The eye is numbed with eye drops to optimize comfort, and therefore, the procedure is painless. This is an example of a temporary collagen plug, which would be placed into your tear duct behind the microscope, where your eye doctor can see a magnified view of the small tear duct. If removal is needed, Saline can be used to flush it out of the lacrimal drainage system. For the permanent plugs, they can be gently removed with forceps. In this video, I can be seen inserting a collagen temporary punctal plug into the patient's lower tear duct. This patient does not feel anything as this procedure is painless. Here, you can just see the top of the punctal plug in the tear duct. So, have you been fit for punctal plugs for your dry eye? Feel free to share in the comments below any feedback you might have for me and make sure you stay tuned for my next video.